Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if it's the first time you are visiting. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you have not already guessed by the title, today's video is going to be all about spring fragrances and I am super excited to bring you this list because spring is my favourite season and I feel like I have a, such a great list for you so if you like the sound of that, please do keep on watching. The first fragrance that I want to recommend is by Cana Barcelona and it is Supermoon. They have recently just released the 100ml versions of these bottles, which is this one here. They originally only came in the 30ml size, so let me give you a close up of the bottle. And I really love that the fragrances in this collection all have different corresponding colors. So you have a green bottle and a yellow bottle and Super Moon is red. And I feel like red really suits the vibe of this fragrance. To me, this is a super unique spring scent, but also really likable. And you don't often see pomegranate as a note utilized in fragrance so the pomegranate is definitely prominent within this composition but you've also got a beautiful cassis note you've got lily of the valley i think you've got jasmine and a little bit of amber and it just makes this for such a unique wear it's totally spring summer appropriate you get a light kind of fresh fruity vibe from it and then you get these almost dry florals and then a little bit of musky amber in the base. If you have not tested Supermoon, I highly recommend you try get a sample because this is like nothing I've smelt in my collection. I feel like it's gonna leave you smelling a little bit different from everyone else, but also gonna leave you smelling fresh, clean, and just really juicy. This opens with a really juicy burst of mandarin, followed by the cassis and the pomegranate. And mandarin is obviously pretty sweet, whereas I feel like cassis and pomegranate is a little bit more dry, almost a little bit bitter. Follow that on with the lily and the jasmine, which adds that beautiful creamy white floral note. You've got white amber, a little bit of patchouli, not that prominent, and also lots of musk in the base. So if you're looking for a fruity, floral, kind of fresh and musky fragrance, then Supermoon might be the one for you. This is very new in my collection, but I already know it's gonna get lots of wear in spring and summer. So that is my first spring recommendation. Next up, we have the newest release from Room 1015, and I have been super excited about this launch, and it is called Sonic Flower. And this is my favorite bottle within the Room 1015 collection. I like the clear packaging with the slightly pink juice, and then it's got this kind of pearlescent style cap. Now Room 1015 is very different from all of the other fragrances within their collection. This is definitely what I would consider a spring summer scent. However, I do feel like this could be worn all year round because it's an easy reach, it's an everyday fragrance, and it has notes like orris, it has carrot seed, it has musk, so it fits in very beautifully with that clean girl aesthetic too. I didn't quite know what to expect with this one, just because the DNA is very different from the other fragrances within their collection, as I've mentioned already. You've got that beautiful pink pepper note up top, then it's followed nicely with the carrot seeds, which add a dry kind of earthiness. And then you've got that creamy, buttery orris, which again is very dry and very earthy. And you've got cashmere and ambroxin and musk in the base. The cashmere almost gives it a smooth, creamy feeling too, a very comforting feeling. And then you also have the creamy jasmine in here too. The notes are so perfect. This is the exact type of fragrance I am drawn to as an everyday reach. I have had this for two days and I've tested it for two days in a row. This is very much still a first impressions, but I have to say I absolutely love it. And if you are someone who loves an Oris fragrance, then you do need to get your nose on this one. And if you're someone who likes the kind of clean girl aesthetic, you like a musky fragrance, maybe cashmere, the ambroxin, a little bit of jasmine, then Sonic Flower is probably gonna be the one for you. I'd highly recommend getting a sample from them if you can. Yeah, I think this one will be great for springtime. 
The next fragrance I was really craving in my collection. It took me a while to buy this one because I couldn't fully understand the scent profile the first time I smelt it. So this is one that I grew to love and it is none other than Killian's Roses on Ice. And I don't think this is a massively popular scent. So let me give you a close up of the bottle. I love the Killian Liquors range. I think the crystallized cut bottles are absolutely phenomenal. And the other fragrances within this collection are pretty strong and pretty heavy hitting. So when you compare Roses on Ice to something like Angel Share, I feel like that's why I was maybe left a little bit disappointed upon first sniff. However, I have been craving this fragrance recently, so I had to purchase it. So what this smells like to me is a gin and tonic on ice, and you're really getting that cool, feeling of the ice it's really hard to explain so you're getting a little bit of the juniper berries you're getting a rose gin or rose gin very light not like a synthetic rose and then you've got a slice of juicy cucumber now it might sound a little bit weird on paper but that freshness that comes from that ice feeling makes this perfect for spring and summer in my opinion. Now it does smell a little bit like cucumber water, but then it has a dash of rose, has a little bit of juniper, but it's not necessarily a heavy hitter fragrance. Well, I don't even wanna say it's not necessarily a heavy hitter fragrance. It's not a heavy hitter fragrance. It's more of a fresh kind of everyday scent. It's one that I would wear in the high summer too. Now I think this is perfect for spring because it leaves you just feeling really refreshed. Imagine you're really thirsty on a spring summer day and you go to get a kind of cool drink with lots of ice in it. This is the feeling I get when I wear this one. So the notes are cucumber, juniper berry, lime, rose, musk, and sandalwood. So I'd highly recommend sampling this one if you haven't already. Like I said, I don't think it's necessarily a popular scent, but just one I was left craving for. So I had to purchase it and that is Roses on Ice by Killian. The next fragrance is a very juicy and uplifting fragrance again, and it is by Juice Parfums and it is Ginger Lees. And I have been craving this one too. I am so glad that spring is here, which means I can finally talk about this fragrance and I can finally wear it some more. So let me give you a close up of the bottle. It's in this incredible kind of neon green yellow matte packaging. So what does Ginger Lees smell like? Okay, as the name suggests, it's a ginger dominant fragrance and I absolutely love a note of ginger and I have been searching for the perfect ginger fragrance and I have finally found it. So if you're a ginger lover, I would highly recommend getting your nose on this one from Juice because it is absolutely incredible. It's so zingy and so fresh, but it's a little bit more complex than just being a ginger. And let me just spray a little bit in, actually I'll spray it on my hand. Super, super sharp ginger. I think you've got a little bit of lime, maybe bergamot. A little bit of musk coming through. Oh, I just think it is super, super delicious. And if I just wanted to feel refreshed and uplifted, this is the type of fragrance I would reach for. I'm actually gonna read you the notes of this one. It's got quite a few different notes in it. So it says, citruses, ginger, lemongrass. I absolutely get all three of those. Musk, mint, and spicy mint. I'm not sure I get the mint at this stage. Sage, headwine, vetiver, fig, pink pepper and woodsy notes. And I will say the citrus top notes absolutely stick around for the life of the wear. So if you love lemongrass, you love ginger, you love citruses, you like a little bit of musk, you like a woody vibe. I don't get much of that sage, so don't let that put you off. There is a creaminess to this. I wouldn't necessarily say fruity, but I think that fig is giving it a creaminess and then you've also got the head wine. But to me, this is a ginger dominant fragrance or a ginger and lemongrass fragrance. It almost reminds me of going to a spa or having a massage. 
super super relaxing and uplifting so yeah i have to recommend ginger leaves try and get your nose on this one if you like the sound of the notes because it is so so beautiful the next fragrance is from one of my newest favorite brands which is unite nomad and this one is called sun bleached and i've spoken about this one on my channel before and I think this is perfect for spring season ahead and even going into summer. So this would be a good spring transitional to summer fragrance too. Now it's a very fresh musky linen scent with a little bit of bergamot, a little bit of cardamom. And I just feel so clean and put together when I wear this one. Yeah, you really get that kind of fresh laundry vibe, but then it's taken in a different direction with that ambrette, with that musk, the bergamot cuts through the kind of clean, I don't wanna say soapiness, but that clean smell. And then that cardamom adds a little bit of a spicy kick, not too prominent, but just enough. And then you've got vanilla, myrrh, and sandalwood in the base. But the notes that really stand out to me is the ambrette, the bergamot, the cardamom. I do get that linen note, so the smell of fresh linen. It's got a little bit of a white floral vibe to it. And then you get that beautiful kind of vanillic sandalwood note in the base. And I wouldn't say this is a dominant vanilla fragrance, but it's just that right amount of sweetness to kind of balance out that clean vibe. Unite Nomad do discovery kits and they also sell their fragrances in lots of different sizes. So you can also get a 10 ml of this one if you wanted to try it as with all of their other fragrances. They're at great price points. I would highly recommend checking out the brand. I have so many favorites, but if you're looking for a spring scent, then get your nose on Sun Bleach, because if you like the sound of a clean and fresh fragrance that has a little bit of a woody base and it's a little bit more complex than just being a freshie, then I think you might really like this one. The next fragrance is from Kiale, and this one is Utopia Vanilla Coco 21. And this is in my top three Kiale fragrances. So let me give you a close up. You've got this metallic kind of mauvey pink bottle and this is very spring summer appropriate. It's a little bit solar. You could wear this on a vacation, but you could also wear it just every day in your kind of home location. It's a beautiful floral. You've got honeysuckle in here. You've got a little bit of coconut and it's a really beautifully done coconut. You've got gardenia, you've got tuberose, you've got jasmine lots of vanilla, a little bit of pear blossom. Oh, I think this one is so incredible, especially for the price point. I'm getting lots of the vanilla that kind of entwines in with those beautiful white floral notes. I'm not normally a huge fan of tuberose. I'm coming around to it now and I definitely pick out the tuberose in here and this fragrance is a love for me. The honeysuckle is so beautiful. When you mix the coconut with those white florals and then the vanilla, you're just left with the most perfect spring fragrance in my opinion. I think this one is absolutely divine. If you've never smelt it, then I would highly recommend going down to your local retailer and getting your nose on it, but definitely in my top three Kiale fragrances. It might be my number two. I'm not quite sure, I need to do a ranking video, but yeah, I absolutely love Utopia Vanilla Cocoa. Next up is Soleil Passion by M. Mikalef, and this is another beautiful, juicy pomegranate fragrance. So I'll give you a close up of the bottle. I love how intricate this design is. It did actually come with this gold little charm, but to be honest, it really annoys me, so I take it off. But again, another pomegranate fragrance, and I have definitely got a thing for pomegranate. And you don't see it in too many compositions like I've already mentioned. But what makes this one different, so Soleil Passion, is it's also got a wild strawberry note in here. And just give me all the strawberry because it's another note that I absolutely love, especially for springtime. You're getting mandarin, you're getting rose, you're getting a little bit of sandalwood and a bit of musk. But to me, this is a combination of pomegranate, strawberry, mandarin, musk, water lily, and sandalwood. I definitely pick out the pomegranate quite prominently. It's a unique offering, and if you like the sound of those juicy fruits up top, so your pomegranate, your strawberry, your mandarin, mixed in with those watery florals like the white lily, like the lily of the valley, 
and then combine some sandalwood, a little bit of rose and a little bit of musk. It is absolutely gorgeous. Try get a decant of this one. Again, I feel like it's a little bit more unique. You're not gonna smell lots of people having this kind of DNA because I wanna give you these recommendations. It's gonna leave you smelling incredible, but also leaving you smelling a little bit different from everyone else. And last, but by no means least, we have Gentle Fluidity Gold by Mason Francis Kirk Dijon. And I wanted to give you a very wearable, everyday scent, a very vanillic and likable fragrance. And it's not necessarily the most unique DNA, but it's a DNA I really crave. I think it smells incredible. And I get so many compliments when I wear this one. So in essence, it's a beautiful vanillic, slightly musky. It's got juniper berries. It's got amber, nutmeg, woodsy notes, musk, if I didn't already say that. But how I perceive this is mostly vanilla, a teeny bit of amber, but like a soft, transparent amber. I do get a light rosy feel from this. And then you've got the nutmeg and the musk. This is what I would call a girly girl fragrance. This would be great for a date night. It would be great as a signature scent. You could also wear this as a bridal scent. And that is why I feel like it is so universal. It's not necessarily just a spring fragrance, but it would be great for spring. So that is my last recommendation. So that is all of the spring fragrances on my list today. To be honest, I could have added so many more. So I might do a part two of this video. Were there any in my list that you absolutely love or maybe that you want to try, please do let me know down in the comments. But what I most wanna know, and it's what I always wanna know, are what are your top recommendations? And for this, I wanna know your top spring recommendations because I find so many incredible fragrances from your recommendations. I just said that word so many times. Please do keep them coming because I found some of my favorites in my collection through you. But thank you so much for watching today. It's been a pleasure as always. I hope to see you in a future video to come. Have a wonderful day and goodbye.